Hello and welcome to this month's market report. We have important statistics to talk about. I'm going to give you the highlights this month. And there's also something that I think is happening in the market that you should be aware of. So we'll talk right about that. So let's get right into it. We always talk about once per month, we get the monthly stats that are year over year. The latest stats that we have in are from May 2021 over May of 2020. And we're always looking at both counties in Southwest Florida. So Lee County and Collier County. So let's jump right into it. Closed sales. What we're looking at there in Lee County, that's up 82%. Uh, this is on single family residents, over 1,685 that closed in the month of May. Collier County is up 129%. Those are insane numbers, 779 single family homes that closed. Keep in mind that this is May information over May of last year and May of last year. So April of last year was the worst of the, the pandemic. Uh, that's when nobody wanted to go anywhere. So not a lot of homes came on the market then. So not a lot went pending. So therefore not a lot would have closed in May. So keep that in mind as we're looking at these statistics. Now we have the median price. To me, this is the most amazing, the most shocking, the most important information for us to look at. In Lee County, that is up 38.7. It's called 39%. It's at $365,000 as a median price single family home. And in Collier County, that is $650,000 as the median priced home. That's up 44% 40, over last year. That's $200,000 difference. The median price home in 2020 was $450,000 in Collier County. Now it's $650,000. Think about the equity that people have in their properties. Uh, time to contract. This is also a big story in the marketplace. We're down to 14 days, just two weeks in Lee and 20 days in Collier County. So it used to be that it took a lot longer for Collier County to sell because the price point was quite a bit higher. And now the market just doesn't care. All right. Now pending sales, that's up only 11 and a half percent in Lee County over last year and in, in Lee County and then in Collier County, it's up 30% over last year. So that number is pretty surprising that we didn't see more there. And then new listings up 24% in Lee and up 13% in Collier. So May people were starting to, if they wanted to sell, they were putting their homes on the market last year. Uh, but again, it's up, but not as much as we quite need. And then the inventory, that's the other big story down 75% in Lee County. That was at four months, now we're at one month, and it's down 83% in Collier, just at 1.1 months. That came from six months last year, which that was sort of in a almost buyer's market last year, and now we are heavy, heavy into the seller's market territory. So what's the story here? What was I referring to in the beginning? We are seeing over the past three to four weeks, that the inventory level is actually starting to increase very slowly, but we're seeing the inventory start to increase. Coming from the cliff that we were jumping off starting the beginning of January of this year, of the inventory just going down, 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 down really fast. Now to see that level off and then to start to creep up a little bit could be a sign that the market is starting to shift a little bit. Now we're only at, if we look at the total market, we still only have 3.1 weeks worth of inventory. So don't get me wrong, we are still very much in heavy sellers market territory, but we're starting to see that the pace of sales is slowing down a little bit, starting to be a little bit more homes on the market. And so that could be the relief that some buyers need in the market to be able to compete. Now there are certain segments of the market that are, that are just way hotter than others. And what I can tell you based on experience in the market is that single family pool homes is the hottest segment of the market. That is what people want. Uh, I put one on the market on Friday of last week. By Monday, we were looking at 15 offers on a single family pool home. So it goes to show you the amount of demand that we still have for the appropriately priced properties that are single family pool homes in the area. So if you are considering selling, 
You might want to be thinking about doing something sooner rather than later. With the inventory starting to creep up a little bit, that could be a sign that the market is starting to shift. And for the buyers out there, you may not have to compete as much, especially if you're not trying for that single family pool home, uh, because the inventory is starting to go up a little bit. So that's it for the month of June. Hope you enjoyed the market update. If you have any real estate related questions, that's what we're here for. I want to hear from you. Comment below, what do you think is going to happen to this market? Are we going to continue to see more inventory grow? Or are we just gonna see the prices continue to go up? Love to hear from you. Thanks.